In this tutorial, we'll take a look at the basics of inserting a quiz into an Adobe Captivate 6 project. The quizzes are a really flexible and easy way for you to gauge a learner's understanding of the material that you're presenting to them, especially if you're creating something like an e-learning project. And the results of the quiz can actually be captured in your learning management system or even emailed to a system administrator. And before we get started in putting a quiz into our project, we might want to change some of the default preferences uh, for quizzes. This just gives us a one central place for us to go and change settings of the quiz so that uh, all of the defaults will uh, be used throughout the rest of the project without having to change them one at a time. So one of the places that we go to do that is under the Edit menu in the Object Style Manager. You'll see that there's a Quizzing Object section and when I expand that, it lists all the different elements of quizzes that we can change the defaults for. Now I'm just going to quickly click on captions here to show you that we could change things like the correct caption or incorrect caption that uh, display to the user when they make the correct or incorrect choice in a quiz. And we can change all the formatting options like the color of the caption and the font that's used. I'm going to leave all the defaults here though and just click on OK. One of the other things that we might want to change about our quiz uh, is under quiz and quiz preferences there are several options here that we can change that will affect the way the quiz works. Here under the quiz section I'm going to go to settings and take a look uh, at some of the options here and we can see that we could change the name of the quiz we can also change whether all of the questions are required or whether some of them are optional or whether the user can actually skip the quiz we can also set whether they must pass the quiz uh, in order to continue in the project. Now I'm going to make uh, all of my uh, answers in the quiz uh, required, so I'm going to click on required here, and the user uh, now has to take the quiz in order to continue through the project. Some of the other options that we might want to change are a little bit lower down. We can show progress of the uh, user throughout the quiz to them so they can see where they're at in terms of the overall quiz. We can allow them to move backward through the questions. I'll leave both those options selected and I'll also select to show a score at the end of the quiz so the user can see how they did. We'll check out uh, one other section here, the pass or fail section shows that by default the user would have to get 80% or more to pass the quiz. I'm going to make that a little bit easier on them and just change it to 50 here. And we can also change what will happen if the user passes or if they fails. And you can see some of the options would be that they can move to the next slide or we can take them to a URL uh, out on the web or send an email to someone. I'm just going to set both of these options to go to the next slide. You can also see that there's a section here that allows us to control how many attempts the user has to get through the quiz. Alright, I'll click on OK. Now that we've made a change to some of the defaults and preferences that are used in our project for quizzes, we'll go ahead and insert some questions. Now the first thing we'll see is that a new slide has been added to our project and it's the quiz results and that's because of the option that I selected to show results uh, at the end of the quiz. I'm going to move that to the end of our project here because we're going to insert our quiz questions at the end. So to insert a, a quiz question slide, we go to Quiz on the menu bar and Question Slide. And it asks us what type of question slide we want to insert. Now I'm going to make two choices here because I'm actually going to insert two different types of question slides, one multiple choice and one true false. Although you'll see there's a number here that if we wanted to insert multiple multiple choice slides, we could up that from one to five or however many we want. And you can see some of the other choices that we have for question slides as well, like fill in the blank or short answer. All right, when I click on OK, I'm going to get two new slides in my project. A multiple choice slide and a true false slide. So I'm going to go to the multiple choice slide first and Basically, at this point, it's really just a matter of filling in the question and the possible answers and setting the correct answer. So, we're going to do a real basic quiz here. I'm going to go into the question and ask the user how many characters a folder name can contain.
and I'm just double clicking in here to set the answers you can see by default we got uh, two possible answers but in this case we really want to uh, give the user four possible answers so what we can do is change uh, one of the properties of this quiz slide to display uh, four answers instead of two and the place where we do that is the quiz properties and we access that from the window menu on the menu bar you can see that right here there's the number two for the number of answers. I'm going to change that to four. The other thing that we can change here are the number of points that are associated with this question. So by default it's ten. I'm just going to change that to one and this again is used in our scoring. Okay. I now have two additional answers here that I'm going to fill in. And then the last thing we'd want to do with this slide is to set the correct answer, which we do just by clicking on the uh, correct answer from our list of choices. All right, let's go to our true-false slide. And again, we just fill in the question, supply the answers, and select the correct answer. You can see also that our uh, correct answer and incorrect answer captions are showing over here uh, to the right, so we could change their placement or change the text that's being used in them. And the last thing we'll do is take a look at our quiz results, and these will automatically be calculated for us as the user takes the quiz. Alright, so let's take a look at the quiz. I'm going to preview the project. I'll answer this first question incorrectly. You can see at any point if I answer a question and want to get instant feedback, I can click on the submit button. And if I've set the properties so that I can make changes to the answer, it would actually let me change my answer. I'll answer the second question correctly and submit that one. And then when I click on next, we'll wind up on the quiz results slide which shows us our score in comparison to the total possible score and our percentage which was 50 percent which of course means we passed the quiz and we get a message showing at the bottom that we passed the quiz again this was a very simple example on the basics of inserting a quiz into a project for more advanced options our advanced captivate six class covers things like random question pools and capturing results from the quiz in other ways.